Calendar Snack, thanks for stopping by. You can see them in a calendar. This calendar here is a Google Calendar. We work with Outlook Calendar as well. To receive a Calendar Snack, all you do is add us to your event by using this universal create command, create at calendarsnack.com. When you do that, you um, the organizer will receive a Calendar Snack. So this case here, Mandy at techvader.com will receive a Calendar Snack because she used the universal create command create at countersnack.com. She added us to her event under add guests in Google and here she is right here in her email box. And you can see that there's no trickery here. Mountain Film and Telluride was the name of it. We go back to her Google Calendar. You can see Mountain Film and Telluride. All this information here is scraped off, sent a uh, calendar snack to her email box as I've shown you there as the organizer and I'm going to click it and go right into it. So here at the top, there's a dashboard, particular to this event, excuse me, we're talking about Mountain Film and Telluride. I'm going to scroll down and uh, we're going to take a look at landing pages. Um, this here, we're not going to talk about the quick on this, is that these are the embeddable RSVP buttons for the various um, email providers there. So, so when you grab the code and put it in your RSVP template, uh, that button is clicked and they receive a calendar invitation. This here is to actually get this event information for our web page form embed and then coming soon we have a VIP list in which you can send bulk calendar invitations to this particular event. So let's get right to it. Let's pretend that Mandy shared this with somebody named Andy and Andy now wants to go to this event. So Andy's going to just simply put in his email address which is andy at techfader.com here it is right here, and he's going to send himself a calendar invitation in which Mandy's going to track. So here we go here, Andy at techvader.com. Again, this is a shareable um, URL that is coming out of the calendar snack uh, pre-built landing pages right here. Andy sent himself a calendar invite, and you can see under Andy's email persona here, Andy at techvader.com, he received the calendar invitation. He's going to say yes to this event. I'm going to go over here and take on the persona of Mandy here in their dashboard for this event, Mountain Film and Telluride. I'm going to refresh it. And you can see here in the detail reports that three calendar invitations were sent. Two people said yes. They clicked the calendar invitation in their email box uh, to send us a calendar receipt in which we're tracking. And you can see at the bottom here, I'm going to refresh the page particularly for Andy at techvader.com. Uh, sometimes it takes a few minutes for that receipt to hit the AWS box in which we're monitoring. I'm going to refresh it and you can see that Andy here uh, has changed uh, the yes here and we're tracking it here in Mandy's uh, dashboard. Now the cool thing is I'm going to change it to maybe and you can see that Andy was yes. Andy changed it to maybe uh, here in a live demo. We'll see what happens. Give it a couple seconds here and uh, the receipt should change. Well, I sh should say it will change. Sometimes it takes an extra second or two. And uh, that's what happens in a live demo, right? My bad. <laughs> uh, here, give it another second. <clears throat> One more time. And there you go, right here. So live, you can see that Andy uh, is now being reflective of uh, yes, no, or maybe, and throughout the lifetime of this event, while uh, he has not gone to the event or the event times out, um, essentially is what I'm saying, uh, we do track all these invitations from the calendar receipt standpoint. Nobody else does this stuff. I hope you think it's pretty cool and give us a try. Thanks.